Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to bsbtrainings.com. In this video, I will be going to demonstrate you how to set up a business process flow in Dynamic CR. So first of all, let's understand what is a business process and what's the use of business process and what's the purpose of a business process in a dynamic CRM. So business process is a tool which is meant to help or guide users through a business process in this system. So there it's a series of steps and uh, it's like a wizard and user can follow those steps. User can move from one step to another and uh, at the end user can achieve the specific outcome or the result and business process flows are representation of your business processes and are displayed visually in CRM in the form of a heading across the top of an entity form so it, it will this business process flows are always displayed visually at the top of an entity form or top of an any entity so for example we have here leads we have, we have leads here and within leads if I'll open any of the lead record you can see with every entity like uh, account opportunity or any other uh, all the entities they have there is a specific business process or uh, so you can see here this is a lead record and within this lead record at the top if you can see it's a series of steps there are few series of steps this we, this we used to call it a business process and this is a default business process and also we have we can create our own business process as well so this is the business process and you can see this business process is logged so until and unless you will not uh, this is logged right now so if you want to you if you want to work on it you need to click on this and then you can feed the data or once you finish this you can click on next stage it will take you to the next process but then it will we can only move to the next step once we come once we enter the data here and then we have pr propose and close so at the in in close we can have our own we can set some few steps we can add some few steps or processes and also we can restrict user that without finishing or without completing the specific process the specific activity in a process it uh, it will not be finished it will not be closed so a business process flow is a composed of stages so there are multiple stages in business process flow and within each stage there are steps to complete which are fields in the business process flows heading a user can see which stage they are at in the process and which steps they need to complete before they pros proceed in the process an entity can have many business process flows associated with it uh, but you can see only one business process at a time so we can have multiple business process associated with this with an entity but it will we can visible or we can work only on a one business process at a time and just make a note make sure uh, just uh, make a note that the business process flows are not automated process in CRM like workflows these are not automated process these are manual process and uh, they are just meant to be a guide for a user to add them in completing a process this is just for guidance purpose these are not automated processes we cannot include a business process flow as a workflow and uh, also business process flow can also be used to ensure the people that they can enter data consistently and follow the same steps every time they work on an entity so you might be want to create a business process to have everyone handle customer service request the same way or to require people to gain approval for an invoice before submitting an order and uh, it this business process flow also guide people for to get work done and using business process flow to define a set of steps for people to follow to take them to a desired outcome these steps provide a visual indicator so we have got it's in a visual form now what can a business process flow do 
so with business process flow we can define a set of stages so we have already defined here stages we can define stages and steps that are then display in the control at the top of the form so now basically this is commonly called stage gating so let's see how to set up a business process flow in an entity and how to associate that business process flow with this specific entity and how to use that so i would like to create a business process flow which will which can be associated with the lead entity and this will be basically lead to opportunity this will be lead to opportunity process and uh, so to create a business process flow we click on settings and click on process so i would like to create a new process here so i click on new and in this dialog box in this window i'll going we need to provide a name so i provide a name lead to opportunity with sales process and the category will be business process flow and the entity will be on lead then click on okay now here first of all you can see we have stages and also we have an option to add stages and also we can add stages we can add a branch to this current stage so let me i will provide a name i give a name to this stage and I, and i give a name stage name is qualify entity will be on lead and the category will be qualify step name so i click on step name select to enter the data so i write here existing contact so i write existing contact and also you can check you can see we have an option here for required so if you make it required so until and unless user did not enter the data or input the in, input the data in this specific field uh, user uh, user will not be able to move to the next process so it is not mandatory but if it is required and next one existing contact let's say i echo for existing account and then i add one more for purchase time frame this is one step one stage to insert another stage click on insert stage and here we can provide a name so i give a name develop also we can change the lead so we can have a, a business process flow can be in a combination of multiple entities so like in this case we in this scenario first stage is to get the data or to in, to get the input for the lead second is for the opportunity so i select for opportunity here and when i select opportunity the values here i can see the values or the fields from this opportunity entity so this to be developed and uh, categories develop and i write here the budget amount budget amount and i'll change this to estimated budget estimated budget then i specify new one purchase purchase process and it should be same purchase process third one i want account and identity account then i want decision maker so decision d e c r e s i decision maker are you a decision maker so identity decision maker we can make it mandatory if you want so then next one is the contact contact and identity contact and the last one will be the description description and here i specify this as a capture this is the second stage let's add one more stage here for i insert one more stage and give a name to propose 
suppose and this will be opportunity and here I specify identity sales team and the category will be propose so in this I want only one field next I need the last stage the close stage the final one and the category will be close and the value I would like to add values in here confirm actual estimated close date or let's say confirm decision date so let me scroll down actual close date we have Let's suppose I add here decision maker decide final decision date. So I write here confirm decision date. And the last one I want send thank you note. Send thank you. So like this, we can add branch, we can add multiple stages with few fields and click on save and I will activate it because without activation if we do not activate it this process will not be in use so I activate it activate now once it is activated we can use it and uh, we'll see how to use a business process so this is a business process which we have created and uh, so I close it then I get you say, you can see the status is activated then I select click on leads I'll get to the leads click on record and within record you can see the business the existing business process or the default business process that's the default business process if you want to switch to our business process I click on this ribbon element and click on switch process and you can see here lead to opportunity with sales process this is the process which I have created so I select this process and this is a default process so if you want you can specify any other name as well so I select it and click on select and you can see it will the page will refresh and the business process which we created just now will be appear yes you can see qualify it is activate existing contact existing account we have purchase time frame click on next if I click on develop these all are and propose only one and in close we have two. so and we can fill up the data here fill up the record existing contact and we can select the contact so it's in a relationship so we can have record existing contact existing account we can look for accounts and look for record purchase time frame immediate we can go to develop estimated budget but you can see here estimated budget is not highlighted because this is not completed so we need to complete this then only we because that's why it is locked so we need to complete this one then it will up so that's how we can create a business process and how we can add a business process in dynamic CRM that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bsbtraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic CRM you can contact to us for a customized training on dynamic CRM we are, we are in subject matter expert in dynamic CRM I will be coming up with some new videos Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.